And it looks like we are about set. And North County is going to line up on the left side. And they will go left, right. Roosevelt is going to defend to the right. And the sun setting just off to the right side of the field this evening. And it looks like maybe by the end of the first quarter, we'll already have the lights on for week one. And that is definitely uh, an interesting thing to think about for week one, starting the first half almost in the darkness. But once again, if you are just tuning in or you didn't catch it earlier, it was a delayed bus that pushed our time back from 7 to 7.30 tonight. Roosevelt didn't catch a bus until about 5.30 and being in St. Louis, that is quite the drive at that time of day. So North County will start on offense, spreading out to the left side. And the Roosevelt Rough Riders will be kicking from the right to the left. And it looks like lined up back to field this is number three, Matt Black, on the far side. And on the near side, that is number 21, Austin Riles. Those are the two split out. Riles on the near side, Black on the far side. And for Roosevelt kicking, it is number 25. And that's Mark Clay, a senior. He's also listed as the quarterback for the Roosevelt Rough Riders at 5'9", 245 pounds, and he's a senior. So it'll be interesting to see if he's a run first or a pass first. In warm-ups, he was definitely slinging the ball all over the place, but now he's going to get to swing the leg to start week one of the 2015 season. Here we go. Drum roll, please. And we are underway. It's coming to the near side of the field, and it's going to be caught by Riles. He's going to turn it up into the middle, split, try to turn it back over to the far side, and run into a big pile on the far side. And it's going to be spotted at the 34-yard line. Oh, the official standing right on the 35. So North County's first offensive drive of the 2015 season will start on the 35-yard line. They'll work left to right, and it looks like we're going to split out all over the place for North County. Three receivers on the near side, one on the far side, one in the backfield, and Cater lined up three or four yards behind center in shotgun. So here we go with that spread offense that Dave Dallas implemented a year ago. Here's year two. Cater takes the snap, and they're handing off right up the middle. A good chunk of yards getting from the 35 all the way up to about the 41-42 yard line. So a good carry to start the game for the North County Raiders, and that was Riles on the carry. And they did spot it at the 42, so a seven-yard gain for Riles to get things underway. Here's a second snap, and it's going right back up the middle once again, and another big gain to start off this offensive drive for the North County Raiders going to the left side, bouncing it through. So the offensive line made up of five seniors, and they are doing work so far tonight. A bunch of big fellas up front, a lot of experience on that offensive line. And when you're spread out like this, you got to put the secondary spread out so the box is a little bit light, and North County's taking advantage of it so far. Looks like Cater's checking the signal, checking the wristband now. Looks like he's going to audible. Now he's set. He takes the snap. He's going to roll to the near side. He's looking downfield, throws, and it's going to be, oh, it hit the receiver right in the hands. He was looking for pay dirt before he pulled it in. And that's going to result in an incompletion. The clock will stop at 11.04 in the first quarter. So the first pass by Cater goes incomplete. And the receiver was wide open. Just couldn't reel that one in. Hit him in the hands. That was number four, Adam McGraw, I do believe, coming to the near side. I don't think we'll see him drop many more than that. Three receivers on the near side. One spread out on the far side. One in the backfield. Cater in shotgun. Oh, looks like a botched play. He's going to have to roll out to the side. He's going to get back to the line of scrimmage. I don't know if he got back. If he did, he just got back to the 49. What looked like happened there, a little bit of a miscommunication between Cater and Riles in the backfield. Cater took the handoff and turned left. Riles split right. There was nobody there, so Roosevelt jumped all over it. And there was a no gain, no loss. So we'll start right back up from the 49, third down. And here we go. And the handoff is going to go to the far side once again. That was on point that time. Back to Riles getting a lot of carries so far tonight. That is his third carry. All for positive yardage so far. That one was three. So he's up to 13 yards over three carries. So that's going to bring up fourth down for North County. And they are on the Roosevelt 46. So this should be make or break right now for the North County offense just across midfield. The handoff goes right up the middle, and they're going to get that first down, and then uh, Riles bowls over a defender, 
popped him right across the 40-yard line. A big hit by Riles and picking up the first down on fourth down. You got to love that if you're the North County sideline to convert and keep the chains moving on fourth down. And Riles stepping in for Tyler Curtis, who graduated a year ago, and he's stepping in in a big way. So here we go, first and 10 on the Roosevelt 38, lined up nearly at the center of the field. And in motion, coming to the near side, that was Colin Hughes. So two on the near side, one on the far side, and is this going to be a false start or an offside? We'll have to see as the official comes in. There was definitely some movement on the far side of the offensive line. And it is going to push the North County Raiders back five yards. The left tackle definitely uh, moved early. That's Rodenberg for the North County Raiders. So backs up to first and 15 on the Roosevelt 43. Two receivers on the near side, one on the far side. Cater in shotgun once again with Riles straight behind him. And it looks like once again, Cater's going to get in under center and check the play. Now he moves Riles to his right, and they fake the handoff. He's coming to the near side. Cater, he's going to tuck it and run, crosses the 40, 35, and gets pushed out just at the 30-yard line. A 13-yard pickup for Dylan Cater on his first carry of the game. And that's going to nearly erase that penalty from just a moment ago. 9-11 in the first quarter, still to go. 0-0, zero zero, North County. This is our first offensive possession. And they are marching down the field. One fourth down conversion already, and this is going to bring up second and one on the 29. It was a 14-yard gain for Cater. Receivers everywhere once again. Two on the far side, one on the near side. A tight end spread out, and Riles directly behind shotgun. And it's Cater taking the snap and completely just coming up and throwing right away. A little bit behind the intended receiver. Black, so that's another incompletion for Dylan Cater. That's 0 for 2. The first incompletion hit his receiver right in the hands about 10 yards down. Just couldn't reel it in. So 0 for 2 so far. Here's third down and 1 on the 29 for the North County Raiders. We're going to see the sophomore on the near side spread out. That's number 88, Johnston. A big sophomore. Cater in shotgun once again. The handoff up the middle. Riles bowling right in between the tackles. And it looks like he picked up enough to move the chains on third down. It is spotted. It looks like a yard or so past the chains. And there's the signal. It is going to be a first down. So the chains will move again. North County marching down the field on the Roosevelt Rough Riders. And with such a limited roster for Roosevelt, this is a good strategy for North County. Wear them down. Keep the defense out there. Here we go once again, two receivers to the right, one on the far side. Cater takes the snap in shotgun, rolls to the far side. He's going to tuck it. He's got a little bit of space, crosses the 20 into the 15 and pushed out of bounds at about the 12-yard line. So another big pickup for Dylan Cater. That's two runs by Cater, both over 10 yards. And that's going to bring it down to the 12. And both of his carries for 13 yards, so two carries, 26 for Cater, and four carries, 20 yards for Riles. Cater in shotgun once again, twins to the left, Johnston to the near side, Riles directly behind Cater, low snap, and the handoff is fake. Cater's got to roll to the left side and runs right into the defensive line for the Roosevelt Rough Riders, trying to turn the corner, just no space. It was on the short side of the field over there. And just wasn't able to turn the corner as Roosevelt anticipated that one. Jumped all over Cater. But they did give him one yard. So second and nine with the ball now on the 11-yard line. Again, twins left. Single receiver to the right is Johnston. Riles in the backfield. And now Cater checks the play again. Looks to the sideline. And hand signals coming in. Here's the snap. The handoff up the middle. Riles turns to the right. And he's going to pick up. A couple of yards and get down to about the six or seven yard line. So every run so far for Riles has been positive yardage. And now he gets the North County Raiders inside the 10 yard line. The ball spotted on the seven. So 
put a, another five on his total. It's going to be twins left, twins right. Shotgun snap to Cater, looking to the right. Fires into the end zone, hit the receiver in the hands and dropped once again. His receivers are letting him down tonight, unable to reel him in. And that throw was on the money. It's fourth and five. So fourth down comes up for the second time in this drive. The Raiders able to convert on fourth down before. They're not going to try it here. They're going to bring out special teams unit. And it looks like we're going to see a, a short field goal here. Lined up, Adam McGraw is going to be the holder on the 15-yard line. The snap, the kick, it's up, and it is up and no good. It was wide left, and Roosevelt is going to take over. So all of that, 7 minutes, 24 seconds, still on the first quarter clock. So lengthy drive for North County, but unfortunately, they come up empty. On a missed field goal, unfortunate. Converting on the fourth down. Not going to try it there. Coach Jimmy Tucker in place of Dave Dallas tonight decided to bring out the special teams unit, and they come up empty on the first drive of their season. So Roosevelt will come out with 7.24 to go in the first quarter. The ball now set on the 20-yard line. So Roosevelt's first drive is going to have to be 80 yards if they want to get into the end zone. It's going to be very interesting. The quarterback for Roosevelt last year was extremely athletic. The quarterback this year is a big fella. 5'9", 245 pound. Mark Clay is a senior for the Rough Riders. Now he motions his receiver, Davion Davis, around and hands it off to Davis. He gets to the outside edge and he's going to be pushed out right at the 20. So the end around doesn't work for the Rough Riders. That'll bring up second and 10 as Davis was pushed out right at the 20 yard line so the first handoff goes to Davion Davis who on the roster is listed as the cornerback backup quarterback and wide receiver let's go ahead and add running back to that after that one we are inside of seven minutes to go as the clock continues to tick away Roosevelt's going to line up with single receivers on either side now they're going to have one lineup in the slot and a tight end on the near side of the formation. And again, Davis in motion. They faked the end around that time. And the throw over the top. And it's a good throw. Just a little bit too far of the intended receiver. And once again, that was intended for Davion Davis. So I imagine that's somebody we're going to have to keep an eye on for the rest of the evening is Davion Davis as the first two plays are directed right to him. The first play, an end around. That play, they faked the end around. He goes up the far side of the field. They throw over the top. And one thing that I did learn on that is Mark Clay, he's definitely got an arm. He threw that one 30, 40 yards. Roosevelt already back set, two receivers on the far side, one in the slot, and one receiver spread out to the near side. The snap comes back to Clay. He's looking downfield again and hits his receiver, and it's pulled in. It looked like it hit off the hand of the defender and then was reeled in. So Mark Clay comes through on the second pass attempt of the game. That pass completed to number five. That's Tommy Walker, who is listed at about 5'8", 155. Just by comparison, I don't think he's 5'8", when you compare the two rosters and heights, but that's what you do, right? Embellish a little bit. So that's going to bring the football up to the 38-yard line, an 18-yard gain for Clay. And they are going to be first and 10 on the 38-yard line, their own 38, and a handoff... Coming out of the backfield, it was a shotgun snap to Clay. He pitched it to his right, and the pitch was to William Brown. Went out to the far side of the field. And it looks like he got zero yards, so second and 10 on the 38. Clock continues to run in our first quarter. And our game brought to you this evening by McNeil Towing and Recovery in Bon Terre and Kernan Auto Body of Bon Terre. We appreciate all of our sponsors making our broadcast possible for J98 Web TV at MimoInfo.com. So here we go again. Two receivers on the far side for Roosevelt. One on the near side. Shotgun snap, and it's going to be handed off again. And nowhere to go. And he's going to bounce back outside and going to be tackled for a loss. Are they going to give him forward progress? A little bit of shaking and bacon, but North County swarmed right up the middle. The linebacking core on point that time. The linebackers for North County are Turnbow on the outside edge. 
Holsey and Smith on the middle and Garrett Smith on the outside. So the middle linebacker is Tucker Smith. The outside linebacker, Garrett Smith. So we'll try to use first names for the middle linebackers the rest of the way. And that is going to be marked down as a five-yard loss. So third and 15 on their own 33. Shotgun snap to Clay. Rolls to the near side of the field. And he's going to run into trouble and be brought down. And the ball pops loose. Yellow comes out. I saw a flag hit the turf. But a big play that time. Up front, Noah Rodenberg getting in the backfield, making his presence known and bringing down Clay. And that, the ball did pop out. But Jenkins comes away with it as you hear that overhead. 439 on the game clock in quarter number one. And we are still scoreless a few minutes into this one. North County's opening drive all the way down to the seven yard line. Opted for a field goal on fourth down. Unable to get the field goal to go up and through. They turn it over on downs. Roosevelt moves the chains one time. And it was a big loss on a carry by William Brown that backed up Roosevelt. And they are going to be forced to bring out the special teams. And I'll tell you what, Mark Clay, he is the punter. He is the kicker. He is the quarterback. This fella is versatile, to say the least. Fourth and 19 on the 29. And they'll be kicking away. It's a low snap, it skips, and it barely gets away. A low line drive kick, it's going to bounce, and it's going to take a huge Roosevelt hop that time. Oh, wow, what a kick that was by Clay. It barely, just barely got away. He had to line drive kick it, but the bounce, probably about 15 yards in Roosevelt's favor. So not a bad deal on your first punt of the game. And the ball is going to be spotted on the 27-yard line. So North County back out. For drive number two, still looking to get points on the board after that missed field goal on the first drive. And it looks like we're going to have our first break of the game. And we're going to say that it's a water break brought to you by Culligan Water. For better water in every room for everyone in your home, say hey Culligan man today. Culligan, better water, pure and simple. Culligan Water in Lettington, 431-3016. We're back in 30 seconds for more. 418 left in the first quarter. We're scoreless. It's J98 Web TV at MimoInfo.com. Hey sports fans, this is Bill Best, your American Family Insurance agent. Everyone enjoys watching their favorite team make the big plays. We here at Bill Best Insurance are committed to making the plays for our customers. American Family Insurance has built its reputation on quality service and a broad range of products such as homeowners, auto, business, health, and life insurance. That's why we ensure an enduring commitment to personal service. Join the winning team at Bill Bass Insurance, your American Family Insurance agent. See Bill Bass, your American Family Insurance agent in Park Hills. All right, we are back from a short break with four minutes, 18 seconds still to go in the first quarter, and we are still looking for the first points on the board. North County's first drive stalled out at the seven-yard line, so they were inside the red zone, unable to convert on their first trip on a missed field goal. Roosevelt took over on the 20. They didn't get much further than that and had to punt, but a great hop on the punt from Mark Clay, and that backs up the North County Raiders to the 27. Started on the 35, their first drive. 15 on the play clock, three receivers to the near side, two spread out to the far side, empty backfield. Cater and shotgun takes the snap, and it's a direct snap, and he's going straight up the middle to the 40. He's to the 50, the 45, and steps out of bounds at the 44-yard line. A big pickup by Dylan Cater that time, crossing midfield from the 27. And you were thinking that maybe it was going to be a little bit more difficult, backed up to the 27 off for a great punt by Mark Clay. And Dylan Cater says, I think not. I'll bring it down to your side of the field, onto the 43. So a timeout's going to be called on account of the Roosevelt Rough Riders. So our first actual timeout of the game comes at 4.09. After a big run from Dylan Cater, we are still scoreless. And we'll be back in 30 seconds on J98 Web TV at MimoInfo.com. The faculty and staff at the North St. Francis County School District are proud of their students and their athletes. It takes hard work, dedication, and commitment to be a good, successful student and an athlete. Each student and athlete will have different goals and even different ways and timing of achieving those goals. So be yourself and excel all the way to the very top. Good luck on a great year and a great season from the faculty and staff at the North St. Francis County School District. They say, go Raiders! 
4.09 to go in the first quarter. We are still scoreless. Roosevelt calling a timeout. That's what sent us to break. And we are back after a big 30-yard pickup from Dylan Cater on the first play. Five receiver set. Cater takes the shotgun snap, rolls right, and found a lot of daylight. So North County in Roosevelt territory, first and 10 on the 43. Receivers everywhere again. It's a five receiver set, three on the far side. Cater and shotgun takes the snap. Looks, pump fakes, throws. Oh, wow, that was a scary one. He was looking to his left side. He pump faked it. The defender actually bit on the pump fake just a little bit. The defender was Marquise Quinn. He bites on the pump fake. Cater threw it behind and nearly right to Quinn. So a little bit of a lucky break there for the Raiders. Brings up second and 10. So it'll be three receivers spread out to the far side. That's Johnston, McGraw, and Black on the far side. Now it's Cater in shotgun once again. Oh, he does have one man in the backfield. Takes the snap, the handoff, a little bit of room, bounces through. And what looked like was going to be no gain actually turns out to be a positive gain for Eli Turnbow, the 5'10", 200-pound junior, coming through and bowling over some Roosevelt Rough Riders. And a six-yard gain for Turnbow. Third and four on the Roosevelt 36 for the North County Raiders. Three receivers left, single receiver right. And it's going to be Turnbow in the backfield once again with Cater in shotgun. He's set. Snap, handoff is faked, and from behind, he's going to be brought down in the backfield. A beautiful play that time by Lamont Green coming around the blind side, and Cater never saw him coming. A big third down stop right there for the Roosevelt Rough Riders, and a huge play by Lamont Green. Green is a senior, 5'10", 175, and he has some speed. He just flashed right there. Speaking of freaky fast, thanks to Jimmy Johns for feeding us and getting us full and we got that tackle and fuel in us now, courtesy of Jimmy John. So I want to say thank you to them. So here we go for fourth and seven, the special teams unit out for the North County Raiders. A wobbly snap, looking to the right, and here comes the punt. An interesting option of punting right there, but a beautiful punt, unbelievable. And it hits the pylon on the bounce. Oh, amazing kick right there. Their first punt, punt of the season for the North County Raiders is Gorgeous. 2.43 still to go in the first quarter. And Roosevelt, it looks like, are they going to spot him at the one or are they going to bring it up to the 20? It did knock over the pylon. I'm not sure if it was off the bounce on its way out of bounds or if they're going to spot it at the 20. It looks like the officials are up at the 20. So what was going to be an absolutely gorgeous kick hits the pylon about two inches too soon. Unfortunate. It was a beautiful kick, though. An interesting way of going about it. The kick was, or the punt, rather, was Adam McGraw. He took the snap, and it looked like he was going to roll out right and maybe think about throwing downfield. Instead, a beautiful kick, maybe four inches too far to the left. So 242 in the first quarter. First and 10 on the 20 for the Rough Riders. Single receiver on either side. Two in the backfield. They fake the handoff and going to be swarmed in the backfield once again. This front line for the North County Raiders is on beast mode tonight. 2.33 and counting, and it's going to be no gain for Roosevelt that time. So second and 10, they'll stay at the 20-yard line. And North County's defense is looking sharp tonight. The way things are shaping up, a lot of bodies for the North County Raiders if they rotate in, and this turns into a war of attrition. Roosevelt's going to have a tough time hanging on all night long. Face masking the call against the Raiders. So a face mask is going to come back to bite them on a big play. At 2.25 remaining in the first quarter, a face mask penalty was flagged against North County. There's the signal. Grabbing the face mask is the penalty. Five-yard penalty. Next and it's going to move up. Five yards, so now first and five for the Rough Riders. Single receiver on either side. Three in the backfield, two offset right. One straight behind Clay, who's in shotgun. Now he pitches to the deep man in the backfield, who turns to the outside, slips and falls. Had a little bit of room to turn the corner, just unable to do so. Lost his footing. That was William Brown trying to turn the corner that time for the Roosevelt Rough Riders, just unable to make the, the cut. As soon as he planted, his plant leg slid out from under him. And he had a little bit of room out in front. And three. That brings up second and three after a three-yard gain from Brown. That three-yard gain could have been easily 
a carry that moved the chains, just slipped as he made the cut on the outside. Second and three on the 27, 144 and counting for the Roosevelt Rough Riders. Once again, single receiver sets Clay in shotgun. And the handoff to the deep man in the backfield, that's Brown again. And the pile he ran into pushes to about the first down marker. No signal yet. The way the ball is placed just on the, uh, now they are gonna move the chains. It looked like from my vantage point that it was a first down and now they do move the chains. Just about out of time in our opening quarter tonight and we are still scoreless. Well, Roosevelt moving the chains on that one. And again, single receivers on either side, three backs in the backfield. And a whistle before the play. Let's see what that's going to be. And it's going to be false start. Roosevelt Rough Riders. I saw one of the linebackers for North County step into the box and lunge, and now we know why. So that'll back up the Rough Riders five yards. Brings up first and 15 on the 25. Single receiver set on either side, three backs in the backfield, a high snap to Clay. He looks to the near side and throws, and coming back to get the football is Davion Davis coming through again and grabbing that one. So Davion Davis definitely a focal point of this Roosevelt Rough Rider football team along with Clay. Inside of one minute to go, lined up on the near hash, second and six on the 34. Single receiver set again, three in the backfield along with Clay in shotgun. He takes the shotgun snap, and he's looking to the right and overthrows the intended receiver on the far side. That was Tommy Walker, the intended receiver. So after completing his first two passes, Clay follows it up with a pair of incompletions and that stops the clock at 43.9. Well, Roosevelt, a crucial down here. Third and six on the 34 yard line, 43 seconds on the game clock. Again, single receiver set on either side, two offset right of Clay and one directly behind and it's gonna go again back to the deep man who's gonna go to the far side of the field and just run out of room, but some yellow comes in behind that play. It'll be interesting to see who that goes against. We went a great deal of this first quarter without seeing much yellow. Now we're seeing a little bit more on this drive by the Rough Riders. We saw a face mask. We've seen an illegal procedure. And this is going to be another penalty against the Rough Riders. You know, in a play like that, when you have so many guys out front blocking, it's very easy for one of them to get called for holding. And that's going to back up Roosevelt five more. A senior-laden team are the Roosevelt Rough Riders, 23 deep on their roster. That's everybody, 23 kids, 16 of those are seniors. And a few mistakes on this offensive possession. Brings up third down and 16 with the ball on the 26-yard line. So now we have a little bit more receiver action. Twins right. Single receiver to the near side. Shotgun snap is low to Clay. He's going to backpedal, and people everywhere nearly picked off. And if he would have reeled that one in, it would have been see you later, fellas. That was Matt Black that nearly pulled that one in. A wobbly pass from Clay. Looking for Davion Davis again. Unable to find Davis. And nearly an interception for a touchdown, but Black unable to hang on to it, but brings up fourth down with 23 seconds. Still to go in our opening quarter. Still scoreless between North County and Roosevelt. These two teams played in week one last year. It was a slow first half a year ago. It's been slow going so far for these two offenses. And Clay back to kick this one away. A quick kick that time after almost getting his previous kick blocked. And this is going to be fielded. A, nearly a diving catch, but it will be in Roosevelt territory. Be at the 47 yard line to start this drive. So the best starting field position for North County so far tonight will be on the Roosevelt 47 for their third possession. The first possession for North County tonight ended with a missed field goal. Possession two was a punt that was nearly going to pin Roosevelt at the one, but just a few inches too far to the left. And they started that drive at the 20. So here's the third possession for North County. 
from the 47. First and 10, 17 seconds to go in the first quarter. Twins left, twins right. Cater in shotgun. And a single man in the backfield. Here's the shotgun snap, the handoff up the middle, and he's going to push the pile for a few more yards. Didn't look like that one was going to pick up more than one or two. And churning and burning to get that pile to keep on moving. It's been grounded pound so far that's worked with Riles, and they're going to let the first quarter expire. So that will bring quarter number one to a close, and it is still scoreless. Both teams, offensive struggling so far. North County made a great drive on their opening drive, unable to convert the field goal at the end, and we'll go ahead and take a pause now with the game tied at 0-0. Zero to zero. We'll bring back for the second quarter up next on J98 Web TV at MimoInfo.com. Rice is the competition is trying to beat. Well, at home furnishings, we treat you just like family. For living rooms to bedrooms, dining rooms, and more. Service after the sale, we're your full line furniture store. Rice is the competition is trying to beat. Well, at home furnishings. Don't miss Mega Sports Back to School Sale on Athletic Goods. When you buy $50 worth of merchandise, you get $10 off. Buy $75, get $15 off. Or buy $100 and get $20 off. The more you buy, the more you save. And August 7th through 9th, it's a tax free weekend. It's a back to school sale at Mega Sports in the Maple Valley Center. In the field or on the field, it's Mega Sports. We'll bring it back just in time to take the snap, and it's going to go back up the middle to Riles. As in this second quarter, the North County Raiders will work right to left, and they're going right back to Riles. You'd almost think that Tyler Curtis was still in the backfield of the way that Riles has been playing tonight, churning and burning all night long. So just getting started for quarter number two. And it's going to bring up third and short for the Raiders on the Roosevelt 39-yard line. Two receivers left, two to the right. Riles again in the backfield. Cater's going under center, and they're going to push the pile right there with Cater, a little QB keeper, and that's going to pick up that yard and then some. So Cater moves the chains for the North County offense, and they'll keep that drive alive. One thing I will say about this North County offense, I expected them to spread the receivers out, but their running game has been fantastic so far tonight. They pick up another first down, first and 10 on the 35-yard line. 11.08 and counting. Two receivers on either side. Cater in shotgun. Riles in the backfield. Cater looks right. Has the open receiver and off of the hands of McGraw. Another incompletion caused by a receiver dropping the ball. That's the third time that's happened so far tonight. Cater's hit the receivers on the money a couple of different times. They just haven't been able to pull it in. So second and 10, still on the 35-yard line. Ball is on the near hash mark. Two receivers to the near side, Johnson and McGraw. Two on the far side, and Riles lined up directly behind Cater, who's in shotgun. Cater set, takes the snap, looks right again. Same play, nearly picked off that time, throwing just a little bit ahead of the receiver. It actually hit the shoulder pad of, I believe, Davion Davis. Yes, it was in coverage that time. So that'll stop the clock at 10.51. And another drive starting to stall out for the North County Raiders. So again, twins left, twins right. Cater in shotgun. Riles directly behind him. There's the snap. He's looking left this time. A short throw to Riles, who catches it with a knee down, unfortunately. And I don't think he's going to pick up nearly enough for the first down. Looks like just one positive yard that time, maybe. And the clock now continues to run. 10.30 and still ticking. So fourth and nine, the offense still out there. And they're going to spread them out. Five receivers set, three on the far side. Cater lined up in shotgun. He's set. Oh, he checks it now, looks to the sideline. And it looks like they're going to call a timeout. Coach Tucker headed out on the field himself. So 
But we have a timeout with 10-16 to go in quarter number two, still scoreless. It's fourth down when we come back in 30 seconds on J98 Web TV at MimoInfo.com. Accidents happen even to the best drivers. When you need a repair, call Crown Collision. They're a preferred provider with many insurance companies. They handle your rental, and if a rental is unavailable, they'll arrange for a loaner car. Fill out the paperwork. Do your repair quickly and detail your vehicle so it looks new. It's simple. Just hand them the keys. This is Ron Akers. Accidents do happen, and when it happens to you, Crown Collision is a great place to start. Crown Collision, it's your vehicle and your choice. Just hand us the keys. At Midwest Sports Center, we sell fun and make your outdoor living easy. Hi, I'm Josh Harris, owner of Midwest Sports Center in Farmington. Stop by and test drive a brand new Can-Am F3 Spider. Check out the new Polaris Slingshot. And if you've been thinking about a side-by-side, -side, well, now's the time. Prices starting at $69.99. Kick it up a notch and give you and your family the ultimate fun at Midwest Sports Center. Located right next to Redfield Collision Center in Farmington. Like us on Facebook, shop us online, MidwestSportsCenter.com. Oh, we just come back and just in time for that one. It was fourth and nine. Cater had a five receiver set, had time to come over the top. He slung it downfield all the way into the end zone, hit his receiver in the hands, and another pass dropped by the North County Raider wide receiving core, but a flag comes down at the end of the play. It's roughing the passer. Another big mistake by the Roosevelt Rough Riders. They did not make these kind of mistakes a year ago. At least until the second half, we saw so many, so, so many penalties in this game a year ago. Not nearly that many this year, so far anyway. With 10.07 to go in the second quarter, a roughing the passer keeps the offense on the field for the North County Raiders. And they're going to be much closer after that 15-yard penalty against Roosevelt. Now first and 10 from the 20. So a fresh set of downs granted to North County on a Roosevelt penalty. It's going to be a shotgun formation. Three receivers to the right, single receiver to the near side. Riles in the backfield with Cater in shotgun once again. He is set, takes the snap, and he hands it off to Riles up the middle. And Riles ran right in to a defender going up the middle and took him for a ride for a couple of yards. So Riles has definitely... Stepped in for Tyler Curtis and has done a fantastic job. Riles, a senior at 5'9", 180, and he is packing the pop tonight. We are inside of 10 minutes to go in the first half. Second and five on the 15. Single receiver to the near side, trips off to the right. Cater back in shotgun with offset Riles, and they fake the handoff, and a flag comes in right at the snap. And that's likely going to back up the Raiders five yards. We'll wait for Illegal procedure call against the Raiders. Yes it is. It's going to be another illegal procedure in this contest. This one goes against North County. So they'll back up five. So now it's going to be ten yards away from a first down. Erasing the five yard gain by Riles. And it brings up second and ten on the 21. And it's going to be again trips right. Single receiver to the left. One man in the backfield, the handoff faked. Cater rolling out to the right side, makes one man miss. He's going to cut again. Can he get into the end zone? He turns in corner, and he's in for six. Dylan Cater from 20 yards out gets to the right side and puts our first points of the evening on the board. It's six to zero. North County Raiders with 9.24 to go in the first half. So the penalty, that roughing the passer, definitely proved costly as North County makes the Rough Riders pay. And Dylan Cater marches in for his first touchdown of the season. Cater is quietly putting together a great rushing night. Here comes the extra point. Snap, the kick. It's up and through. 7-0, North County Raiders with 9.24 to go in the first half. Roosevelt will receive the kickoff up next. We'll be back shortly for... More football on J98 Web TV at MimoInfo.com. Did you know that you can save hundreds of dollars when you trade in your old wasteful water softener and upgrade to the Kelligan High Efficiency Water Softener with our one and dead or alive promotion? 
A Kelligan High Efficiency Water Softener reduces hard water, which eliminates spots on glasses and fixtures and prevents corrosive buildup in your pipes and equipment, all while saving up to 46% on salt and water. Trade and upgrade today. Visit us, your local Kelligan dealer in Lettington. Hey, Kelligan man! Limited time offer. See dealer for details. Call McNeil Towing and Recovery if you're stuck on the side of the road, have a flat tire, or your car just won't start. Call McNeil Towing and Recovery if you need a jump start or you're locked out of your car. Whatever you need to get back on the road, call McNeil Towing and Recovery in Bonterre at 358-7966. 24-hour emergency service and experience you can trust. McNeil Towing and Recovery, 358-7966 or at towingbonterre.com. We bring you back with 919 on the play clock following a touchdown run from Dylan Cater. And North County leads this one 7-0, and it was a pooch kick just now from North County to Roosevelt. A flag came in. Looks like we are going to have a penalty against Roosevelt. Roosevelt making several mistakes here in the second quarter so far. A lot of experience on this Roosevelt squad, but they've made several mistakes so far, and they trail the, Rose, uh, the North County Raiders, rather, 7-0. to zero. And that scoring drive was capped off by a 20-yard run to the outside by Dylan Cater, and all of our scoring drives of the game are brought to you by Auto Plaza Ford, Chrysler Dodge, Jeep, and Ram of DeSoto and Fredericktown. If you're in the market for a new or pre-owned vehicle, check on inventory and prices at autoplazaford.com. So 9-19 still to go in the first half. And now North County is going to have a great opportunity here to kick from the Roosevelt 45-yard line. So if they strike a good kick, they may be able to pin the Rough Riders deep. We'll have to see. Lined up to kick is number 13. That's Kyle Cruz, the 6'1 senior. And he is lined up right on the end of the North County logo on the Roosevelt 45-yard line. They might be able to pin the Rough Riders deep. Roosevelt's offense has had a hard time getting across midfield so far tonight. All their drives stalling out. Here comes the kick. Try number two, and this one's going to go deep and into the end zone off the hands of the intended or the receiver in the back. That was William Brown that tried to field it in the end zone over the shoulder. It bounced off of his hands, out of bounds. So Roosevelt will start their drive on the 20-yard line. Still a lot of time left in this contest. We started a little bit late tonight. We had a 7.30 start time, just 15 minutes past 8 o'clock and 9.19 to go in the first half with the North County Raiders up 7-0. We'll take a quick look while we have a chance at our scoreboard around the area. And our scoreboard brought to you this year by Nicholson Heating and Cooling. Call the comfort pros at Nicholson Heating and Cooling if your current heating or cooling system needs a tune-up. As soon as we have this first snap, we'll take a glance at our Nicholson scoreboard. And it's to Clay, and Clay's going to keep it. And that's a big fella picking up ahead of steam, and he gets down to the 30-yard line. A 10-yard pickup for Mark Clay. I wonder if they'll move the chains or if they'll spot him just short. We'll have to wait and see. So our other games around the area, Kennett all over Fredericktown, 28-0. Central doing central things, defeating or leading Sullivan, 38-0. Westminster over Festus right now, 20-0. And Valley Catholic, 35-0 over St. Vincent. We'll continue to check scores throughout the contest. At that time, the snap to Clay gets to his hand and a flag gets to the turf. So we'll try that again, see. Roosevelt has another penalty go against them. They'll back up five more. So after a big 10-yard gain by Clay, they're going to back up five. With 9.02 to go. It's been a long nine minutes. So they're going to try this one again with first and 15 on their own 25. The snap, and they're going to go right back up the middle again. Just nowhere to go as the front line for the North County Raiders, really the front seven, has done a great job tonight. For that matter, the secondary is no slouch either. Only two completed passes. And they've stopped every Roosevelt drive in their own territory. Can they continue that pace? 
A third down, three to go after the seven yard gain. Two receivers on the far side, two on the near side. Clay in shotgun, set. Here's a high snap, has to field it with one hand. He's gonna run up the middle and it's dropped. The ball's knocked out and North County looks like they come up with it. So the fumble on about the 26, 27 yard line and it's recovered by the North County Raiders. So the great starting field position after forcing the fumble, it was a high snap. Clay at it by one hand, tried to turn and go up the middle, and it was knocked away and recovered by the Raiders in Roosevelt territory. And they are going to have fantastic starting field position to start this drive. So after scoring on the previous drive, they are on the 29-yard line in Roosevelt territory. So another opportunity for North County to put points on the board thanks to a fumble by Clay. We go twins left, twins right, offset back and in motion, and they're going to hand it off. No, they fake the handoff and trying to go up the middle between the right guard and right tackle. No room there. Back to the line of scrimmage. The clock continues to run. Still eight minutes to go in quarter number two with the North County Raiders leading the Roosevelt Rough Riders 7-0. Brings up second and 10 on the 29. And again, they're going to line up with two receivers on the near side are the North County Raiders. Two on the far side, one in the backfield. Cater in shotgun. The near side slot wide open. They backpedal. A lot of room there. Can he get over to the near side? Cater's still keeping it. Crosses the 30, turns up field, and tiptoes down the sidelines, and he's going to pick up a few. He was dead to rights at the 30, turned up field and tiptoed, and turned nothing into something really quickly. A nice play by Dylan Cater. I'm not really sure how he turned that corner, but he sure did. A 7-0 game in North County on the 22. And trying to get back in the end zone on consecutive drives. Cater takes the shotgun snap. They're going to hand it off to Riles up the middle. He's got a lot of room that time. And he gets down to the 10-yard line. Riles, have yourself a night, young fella. 7.29 to go, and Riles moves the pile all the way down to the 10-yard line. Moves the chains, moves the pile, moves the offense. Riles having a great game so far and continuing there. So first and 10, they spot it on the 11. It's going to be two receivers to the near side, two on the far side. Riles lined up straight behind Cater in shotgun. And they're going to hand it off again. Riles plows into a couple of defenders. He ran right into Raymond Jackson and bowled him over just a couple of yards that time for Riles. They were packing the box, expecting it, were the Rough Riders. We are inside of seven minutes to go in our first half in a 7-0 ball game. The ball now on the seven-yard line. And North County, if they can get in the one, they'll have a fresh set of downs. Twins left, twins right. Riles offset right. Cater in shotgun. Takes the snap. Fakes it. Keeps it himself. Turns, spins, dives. And he may have gotten inside the one, maybe down to the two. If North County can get a first down on the one, your chances of getting in the end zone are vastly improved. And they're going to spot it at about the two and a half. So still room if they want to get down in there and get the first down, but the timeout's going to come in before we resume play. The Roosevelt Rough Riders calling a timeout once again with 6.36 to go in the first half at 7-0. North County over the Roosevelt Rough Riders will continue the second quarter in 30 seconds on J98 Web TV at MimoInfo.com. This is Debbie Hamby with Parkland Health Mart Pharmacy. We know you have lots of choices when it comes to finding a pharmacy. Those choices promise things like friendly staff, shorter wait times, free delivery, and knowing you by name. At Parkland Health Mart, all of those things are a given. We want you to choose us for our ability to provide things like medication synchronization, immunization services, medical equipment sales and service, and free wellness classes, including diabetic education. Come see us today in Deloge, Fredericktown, or Ironton, because we are your total health care destination. Six minutes, 36 seconds still to go in our first half with North County up 7-0 to zero and knocking on the door, trying to put a few more points on the board. They are inside the five-yard line, actually down on the three, and it's third down and one yard away from getting a first down. So if North County can push the pile for a yard, it's going to be hard to keep them out if you're the Rough Riders. So here we go. Receivers, single sets on either side, spread out wide. 
and a full backfield. I think we're going to see a big battle in the trenches right here. The handoff up the middle, and forget about the first down. Let's get that touchdown, and North County puts six more on the board. A big run right up the middle, and North County scores on back-to-back -back drives. Now 13-0 with 6.28 to go, and Riles getting in on the action again, pushing the pile, getting down inside, and putting six more up. 13-0, and here comes the special teams unit. See if they can add one more. So Cruz set for another extra point attempt. And they called for the snap, and it looked like movement up front. Let's see who moved first. I see a couple of linemen up front for the Raiders clapping, so I think that's going to be against Roosevelt. And that sure is. They called encroachment. And all that will was cut the distance in half. But will it change the game plan for North County? It will not. And Cruz set again. Could make it 14-0 if it goes through the uprights. The kick is up. The kick is good. That makes it 14-0. North County scores on back-to-back -back drives. Our scoring drives are brought to you by Auto Plaza Ford, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram of DeSoto and Fredericktown. So North County gets back in the end zone on two drives in a row. Now 14-0 over the Roosevelt Rough Riders. 6.28 to go. North County kicks to the Rough Riders up next. It's J98 Web TV at MimoInfo.com. Looking for a place you can call your favorite? Then visit Hub's Pub & Grill in Bonterre for affordable, fresh, well-prepared food and a friendly laugh-out-loud and put-your-elbows-on-the-table kind of atmosphere. Chances are your friends are already there, and you should be too. Hub's Pub & Grill has indoor and outdoor seating, tons of TVs for your favorite games, live music every Saturday, and best of all, service that feels like family. Like them on Facebook or go to hubspubandgrill.com for daily specials. Your favorite new place is waiting for good times and great grub. Make it Hub's Pub & Grill. Six minutes, 28 seconds to go with the North County Raiders getting back in the end zone for the second drive in a row. And now 14 to zero, North County leading this contest. This is a game that is a repeat of last season's week one contest here at North County and much different pace so far. We saw several penalties in this game a year ago. We've seen a, quite a few tonight, but all of them so far have been against the Rough Riders and North County Getting in the end zone for the first time on a Dylan Cater run, a 20-yard run that was all set up by a roughing the passer penalty on fourth down. And that set up the first score. The second, North County getting inside the five down to the three and just punching it right up the middle and rolling over the top of the Roosevelt Rough Riders. And that makes it 14 to zero so far. A lot of the other games around the area already at the break. So we'll take a look at our Nicholson Heating and cooling scoreboard. Kennett 28-0 over Fredericktown. Central 45-7 over Sullivan. Westminster 20-0 over Festus. Valley Catholic 56-0 over St. Vincent. And 8-6 Jefferson leading JFK. So here we go, here comes the kick. And we are back underway. A low line drive kick bounces at about the 22. And it's going to be fielded by Brown. He's going to try to reverse field. And he's stepping back. Now a penalty comes in. I think I saw a block in the back. And negative yards on that kick return. Back to looks like the 16. No officials marked the spot yet. But there is a penalty marker at about the 22-yard line. I do believe that was a block in the back. No, they're going to call that holding against Roosevelt. So another mental mistake by the Rough Riders is going to cost them right before they even start the offensive drive. They're already backed up. It wasn't the best of returns that time for Brown. He fielded it on the near side, tried to reverse to the far side, and there was just no daylight. So now we'll go first and 10 with a ball on the Rough Rider. Looks like they're backing it up even further now. Looks like they've got the ball set on about the nine yard line. Roosevelt's lined up with three receivers on the near side. One on the far side. Now the chain gang has to back up. Well, the ball is set on the nine. It'll be first and 15. 
with Roosevelt working left to right on this drive. Three receivers spread out to the near side, one to the far side, one in the backfield. Clay takes the snap at the two-yard line, throws it, and threw it ahead of his receiver, who had to try and lay out to catch it, unable to do so. So the completion, incompletion to Clay, looking to the far side, looking again for Davion Davis. That has been his main target. He has now thrown six passes, has Clay. Five of those six were intended for Davion Davis, but just one catch for Davis so far. 6-16, still to go in our first half, 14-0. North County spread out all over for the Rough Riders, and it looks like the offensive line moved early as they had a four-receiver set with three on the near side. I think they're going to back up even further on this one. And they are. So the ball was on the nine. Now they're going to back up even further. Mistakes left and right costing the Roosevelt Rough Riders so far. Now deep, deep with the ball on the four. The snap to Clay. He's going to bounce it to the outside and runs into a couple of defenders. And a big time pop that time as they run square into each other. That's a big fella when you're talking about Mark Clay, the quarterback for the Rough Riders, standing 5'9", weighing in at 245 pounds and bringing the pop around the outside that time. And it was Turbo that brought him down. A big time collision. And now inside of six minutes, third and 11. Ball on the four. Roosevelt in a very, very precarious position. See what we have here. Looks like we're going to have a timeout called by Roosevelt. So with 5.37 to go in the first half, it's a 14-0 lead for the North County Raiders and a timeout by the Rough Riders deep in their own territory. We're back in 30 on J98 Web TV at MimoInfo.com. <sighs> America's Mattress and Recliners in Farmington is home of the world's best mattress, Serta. And along with the number one mattress, their sleep shop has everything from head to toe to help you get the best night's sleep guaranteed. From adjustable bases to memory and gel foam, eye comfort and eye series, along with perfect sleepers. Finish that off with the perfect pillow for an, ah, restful sleep. They also have Ashley and Best Recliners, Power Chairs and Medlift Lift Chairs. America's Mattress and Recliners on Walmart Drive in Farmington. Five minutes and 37 seconds remains in our opening half with North County a two-score lead over the Roosevelt Rough Riders. And when this drive resumes for the Rough Riders, they are pinned back deep in their own territory. Ball at about the seven-and-a-half yard line. And Roosevelt still looking across the 50 tonight. North County's defense has been stellar so far. The Rough Riders are going to line up with three receivers to the near side, one on the far side. Clay deep on the one-yard line, waiting for the snap, and one man in the backfield with him, offset left. Takes the snap, looks over the top, has to pump, throws over the middle, and overthrows the intended receiver that time. Looking for Raymond Jackson. The first time that's thrown his way, and Clay comes up empty. Brings us to five and a half to go in the second quarter. And fourth down, deep in their own territory. The Rough Riders are going to have to kick this one away. Lined up to field the kick on the 41-yard line is Adam McGraw. So another drive looking like it's going to start with great field position for North County, depending on how this goes. The kicker is Clay, lined up deep in the end zone. And it looks like the Raiders are going to be in attack mode on this snap. And a whistle comes in before the play. And the Raiders were chomping at the bit across the front line. You saw handshaking, toe tapping. They wanted to get in the backfield. And believe it or not, Roosevelt's going to have to back up a little further. Ball is now set on the four. Clay has his heels on the white line in the end zone. The snap, a high snap, kick gets away, backing up to field it, and a fair catch, McGraw on the 37-yard line. And McGraw had a lot of room to turn that upfield, decided not to. So at 5.23, still to go in our opening half, the North County Raiders are going to start a drive in Roosevelt territory once again. 
Looks like the official mark is going to be at the 37. So first and 10 for the North County offense. They've scored on their past two drives. Can they make it three in a row? We'll find out. Two receivers split left. Johnston McGraw on the near side. Two on the far side. And Cater lined up in shotgun with one man in the backfield offset with him. Cater calls for a motion. They hand it off to the motion man who comes to the near side. Not a lot of room there. Has to juke and jive just to get some positive yardage. And Matt Black coming from the far side on the end of round picks that one up. A little bit of a jet sweep trying to turn it right in outside the left tackle. Roosevelt was all over that one. A short gain for Black, just a couple of yards. And now they spotted it on the 35. So here's second down after picking up a couple on first down inside of five minutes to go. And now Cater in shotgun with two receivers on either side. They hand it off to Riles. Riles goes straight up the middle and gets down to about the 32. So another few yards for Riles who is up to now seven carries on the night. They'll bring up third down. And we are at 440. Still to go in the second quarter. And it's a 14-0 lead for the North County Raiders. Lined up, twins left, twins right. Cater in shotgun, Riles in the backfield, directly behind him. The handoff to Riles, up the middle, finds some space, breaks one tackle, gets down to the 20 yard line. Another big pickup that time for Riles. And that will move the chains once again for the North County Raiders. And Riles carrying the load so far out of the backfield. Getting a big pickup that time of 15. Well, now down to the 20. On the fringe of the red zone are the North County Raiders looking to score for the third drive in a row. First and 10 on the 20. Johnston McGraw on the near side. Black in the slot on the far side. And Colin Hughes spread out to the right. Cater will be in shotgun once again with Riles directly behind him. He's set, takes the snap, back to Riles. Riles not gonna get a whole lot of room this time, trying to keep upright and push that pile forward. Just too many bodies in front of him that time. And that is the first time tonight he's really been stood up at the line. That brings us inside of four minutes. The clock will continue to run. So they blew it dead on forward progress. And they say it was no gain, no loss. So we'll go with second and 10 now. 3.33 on the game clock. 21 on the play clock. Twins left, twins right. Hughes is spread out far right, and the slot right is wide open, and that is black. So the snap, the handoff up the middle once again, and maybe a yard that time for Eli Turnbow. Getting a little bit of action so far. Turnbow not able to push the pile that time. He'll head back to the sideline. And it looked like he had to take off his helmet, maybe an equipment issue. So Riles heads back out. They say it was a one yard gain that time for Turnbow. So third and nine on the 19. Twins right, twins left. Cater in shotgun, Riles offset right. He's set, takes the snap, fakes the handoff. Spins, turns up the middle, gets in between the tackles, breaks one tackle, and into the end zone. Another big-time touchdown run by Dylan Cater from 19 yards out. Puts six more on the board. It is 20-0 North County starting to pull away from the Roosevelt Rough Riders with 234 still to go in the first half. Another big-time run, and Dylan Cater finds the end zone once again. So he's had a 21-yard touchdown run and now a 19-yard touchdown run. All of the scoring for the Raiders tonight coming on the ground. It's a spread offense they like to run, but their run game is carrying the weight tonight. Can they make it 21-0? Here's the kick, 
It is up and it is through. That's 21 to zero. North County puts it through the uprights and adds one more. A three score lead for the Raiders in the first half. Still 2.34 to go in the second quarter. We'll be back in 30 seconds on J98 Web TV at MimoInfo.com. ProCare Automotive Repair in Bonterre, your local AAA approved auto repair facility is excited to announce that we now offer full service maintenance and repairs on your hybrid vehicles. If you drive a Prius, Insight, Escape, or any other hybrid vehicle, we can maintain service and repair all parts and electrical systems for you. No need to make inconvenient trips to the dealer anymore. Bring it to ProCare Automotive Repair for fast, friendly, and professional service to your hybrid vehicle. ProCare Automotive Repair, repaired once, repaired right. 358-1112 or ProCareForYourCar.com. We are back following the third consecutive scoring drive by the North County Raiders and Dylan Cater now two touchdowns, 95 yards on five carries. So great start for his football season. All of our stats are brought to you by ProCare Automotive Repair in Bonterre. Fast, friendly, and professional service. Repaired once, repaired right. So here's the kick, and it's fielded at the 15-yard line. Coming to the near side, that's Brown. Crosses to 25 and brought down just shy of the 30-yard line. Decent starting field position for Roosevelt compared to the rest of their drive so far tonight. Still looking to get into North County territory. The defense for the Raiders has stood up quite well so far tonight. Still two minutes and 29 seconds to go in the opening half. It'll be a first and 10 for the Rough Riders of Roosevelt in their white road uniforms tonight with the red helmets and red trim. North County in the grays tonight with the white helmets. It'll be lined up on the near hash mark on the 29, first and 10 with 2.29 to go in the opening half. Clay in shotgun. It looks like a little bit of confusion. Looking for a timeout maybe, yeah. There was a lot of confusion at the line of scrimmage. And now it looks like Clay and Brown are in the backfield having a discussion with each other. A very interesting circumstance that I will somewhat try to explain here in a second after we get this play underway. Clay back in shotgun. One man in the backfield with him, three receivers to the far side, and it's just a pitch to the far side to Brown, and Brown runs in, misses one tackle, and gets just about to the 30-yard line, so not much there for him. That'll bring us to 2.15, and the clock will continue to tick. So prior to that play, it looked like Clay and Brown were both wanting to call a timeout. A lot of times in high school football, before the game, officials will go to the head coach and ask, is there a certain particular player that can call a timeout? So on that situation, the quarterback and running back are looking for a timeout, and the coach is waving it off, waving it off, so the officials did just the same. And now another penalty against Roosevelt, but it will be declined. Second and 10 on the 29, 2.15 to go. Three receivers to the far side, one spread out to the near side with Clay deep in shotgun. He takes a snap, looks to the near side, fires, and a little bit outside of the intended receiver, Tommy Walker. And that's going to go down as another incompletion for Clay. He started off two for two, and now he's two of eight. So six consecutive incompletions. On the flip side of that, the quarterback for the Raiders, Dylan Cater, still looking for his first completion as well. He's 0 for 5, but four of those were drops by his receivers. But we'll go third and 10 on the 29. Roosevelt still looking to get set. Play clock's frozen. And now they're going to walk it off. Another mistake by the Roosevelt Rough Riders. At the end of this game, there's one thing you know that Coach Campbell is going to talk about, and that is mental mistakes. They have proved very detrimental so far. So now backed up deep again with two minutes to go in the first half. It's second and 20 on the 17. Inside of two minutes, the shotgun snap to Clay. He backpedals. He has to throw it. Pressure coming in his face. He finds Brown. Brown spins, gets up to the 30, maybe the 31, and he's going to be brought down right there. So not much there after the penalty. 
90 seconds away from halftime with the Raiders up 21-0 over the Roosevelt Rough Riders. What a difference a year makes. This game last year, Roosevelt started to pull away. This year, North County is controlling every facet of this one. Clock continuing to run. Play clock down to 13. Clay now backs up. He's got three receivers spread to the left. Two to the near side. The snap hits the ground. Clay picks it up and he's firing deep over the middle. Well ahead of the intended receiver, Davion Davis. And after a decent start tonight, Clay has struggled throwing the football. His accuracy is definitely off after uh, having so much pressure in your face from the front line from the North County Raiders. Slow going for the Rough Rider offense so far tonight. And on the turn of that, they have not been able to stop the, rough, the uh, North County Raiders running game. And that's where all of the scoring has come tonight for North County. That's 21-0. All of the scoring coming on the ground. 104 to go. And the special teams unit out for Roosevelt. It's going to be Clay kicking from inside the 10. And... 13, 12, 11 on the clock. There's the snap. Here's the kick. It's away. It's end over end. It bounces at the 49 and takes a big time Roosevelt hop. And they're going to say that it was touched by one of the Rough Riders at the 43. So North County will get to start a drive with 52 seconds left in the first half, leading 21 to zero. They haven't really aired it out yet so far in this game. They've done a lot of ground and pound and had success with it, especially with uh, quarterback Dylan Cater and running back Riles, both splitting the carry so far. Cater with two touchdowns. And North County, less than a minute to get into the end zone, or will they just try to kill the clock and make it to the break. We will find out momentarily. It's 21-0 North County. The offense out on the field with a five receiver set. Three to the right, two to the left. Cater set up in shotgun awaiting the snap. He takes the snap. He's looking to run up the middle and he's going to be brought down right across the line of scrimmage and going to fall forward for maybe just a couple. So it's looking like they're just going to try and kill clock. Maybe not. North County is going to call a timeout. So maybe Coach Tucker thought he was going to get away with a five-receiver set and get his quarterback up the middle and escape. That did not happen. So at 44.1 seconds to go, a timeout called by the Raiders, and we'll close out the first half up in 30 seconds on J98 Web TV at MimoInfo.com. Walmart Supercenter in Deloge is a great place to get everything you need for the fall season. They stock it all, and at prices your family can't afford. In fact, shop each department, clothing and accessories, bakery and deli, hardware and housewares, photo lab and electronics, yard and patio sales, and so much more. And remember, football season is here, and the holidays are just around the corner. That's Walmart Supercenter in Deloge. Save money. Live better. Walmart. We are 44 seconds away from halftime. North County second and nine with a 21-0 lead. Five receivers set, two to the near side, three on the far side. Cater dropping back, looking over the middle, and he's going to be pulled down in the backfield. And Roosevelt going to come up with a big-time stop, bringing Cater down at the 40. And that'll bring us with another timeout called by the North County Raiders with 34.9. We'll just keep it here. as just one timeout left now for the Raiders. So 34.9 seconds, a little bit of clock management that time by Coach Tucker after the sack. And a long way to go if the Raiders want to get into the end zone. This ball spotted on the 44. And 35 seconds to get there. One timeout. And a three score lead for the North County Raiders. They look vastly improved from week one a year ago in just about every facet. You really don't know what a team will look like until maybe week three or four, but the eye test right now, North County is going to be a tough team to deal with this season. They can spread it out. They can run it. They got solid front seven. The secondary hasn't let a pass be completed since the opening drive. 
I think North County is going to be a tough team to handle this season. 34.9, the offense back set with three receivers to the near side, one to the far side, offset in the back, and Cater in shotgun. There's the snap, the handoff faked, and Cater's going to roll out, have a blocker in front of him, and that blocker may have slowed him down a little bit, but got him some positive yards. So with one timeout left, are they going to run a hurry up, or are they going to kill clock? And it looks like they're going to try and go ahead and get set. The ball is spotted, 24, 23. Clock's going to continue to run. Now three receivers are spread to the near side, one to the far side. The offense still not set, about 12 seconds. And I think they're just going to watch this one roll away. Maybe they're going to go for one big shot. We'll see. Three, two, and a low snap. Cater looking to fire downfield and slinging one into the end zone. Will he get the receiver he's intended for? It hits off the hands of the sophomore Johnson. And Cater, unfortunate, hit his receiver and another drop. And that ends the first half with a 21-0 lead over the North County Raiders. 21 to zero, a much different game than it was a year ago. North County on top by three different scores as we head to the half. So we are set for kickoff. North County will kick left to right and we are underway for quarter number three. It's gonna be fielded at about the 16 yard line by Brown. He'll turn it up to the far side of the field and a big hit all over the far side. Laying the wood over there are the North County Raiders asserting their dominance in every facet of the game. And when you have that going for you, the confidence is up, the energy level is up, and you can tell just in pure body language starting this third quarter that North County is fired up. That big hit is our collision of the contest so far, our Crown Collision Center at Crown Motors, where customers bring their friends. That's Highway 67 north of Farmington, the Crown Collision of the game so far. So the ball will be on the 26-yard line for the Rough Riders, so first and 10 on the 26. And we've got 24 minutes to play. And Roosevelt down three scores. Clay in shotgun. Twins left, twins right. High snap. Hands off to Brown. Brown turns, gets inside, spins, moves, cuts another tackle, breaks another one, and spins again. A nice run that time. Brown making it look easy out there, breaking tackles and making the spin moves and gaining a few yards. And did he get enough to move the chains? I do believe so. He got down to the 39-yard line. So a big gain that time for Roosevelt, courtesy of their running back, William Brown. So Brown making an impact to open things up in the third, the big gain. The Roosevelt takes another shotgun snap. They're going to go right back off to the right side in the middle, but no room to go this time. The North County Raiders front seven has been all over the Rough Riders tonight. The quarterback for Roosevelt, Clay, he started off completing his first two passes, but he went two of nine in the first half, so seven straight incompletions. And the Raider defense is looking pretty solid so far through two quarters of play. Again, in shotgun, it's Clay with two receivers on either side, one in the backfield. The handoff is delayed. It's going to go up the middle for maybe a yard, maybe not. He was stood up in a hurry, William Brown is having a tough time with the front seven of the North County Raiders tonight. And the way things are shaping up for the Roosevelt offense, starting to be very run heavy, and the run game is really staying inside the tackles for the most part. And North County's just loading up the box and waiting for it. 10-42 and counting. Third and 10, the ball on the 40-yard line. It's a three-score lead, 21-0 for North County. And a big third down right here for the Rough Riders. Third and 10, Clay in shotgun. Brown offset left, two receivers on either side. Here's the snap, and they fake the handoff. He's going to look to go over the middle. He's got a receiver there, and he overthrew him. He had the receiver wide open. That was Raymond Jackson. And just a few steps out in front of the defender. I think if he would have been able to catch that in stride, he may have been able to take it to the end zone. But we will never know. Three licks to the center of a Tootsie Pop, right? Fourth and 10 coming up with 10-17 to go in a 21-0 game. North County, they're looking pretty good in the 2015 season. In the year two of the Dave Dallas system, they're definitely running the spread much more efficient. But it's the defense that's stealing the show tonight. Most certainly the defense is stealing the show. So it's going to be a punt. 
On fourth and 10 with 10-17 to go in the third quarter. The kick's going to come from the 25-yard yard line and back to field it on the 35 is the North County Raiders. A little bit of delay in the action. Like one player is going to leave the field. And once again, too many men out there on special teams for the Roosevelt Rough Riders. That's going to back them up again. So mental mistakes, they've carried over into the third quarter. And now fourth and 15, it won't change the idea. It's just going to change the field position. So now the kick's going to come from Clay at the 20. And back to field it at the 35. It's the North County Raiders, and here's the kick, barely getting away again. Clay's got lucky with that a couple of times, and they, every time he's had to punt, he's got a great bounce out of it, and that's the case as this bounces down to the 21-yard line. That freezes the clock at 10.06. It's 21-0. North County out front, a three-score lead for the Raiders, and the offense set to hit the field. We'll see how they do in 30 seconds on J98 Web TV at MimoInfo.com. Rather than that, it looks like they're going to get set up fairly quickly, so we'll just stay right here for the offense to come out on the field and get set, and they came out quickly. You can definitely tell just by the energy level of these two teams that North County is feeling pretty good so far. I would say so with a three-score lead. Here we go. Twins left, twins right. One man in the backfield. Cater hands it off. It's going right up the middle. A nice move and a nice cut and a lot of room down to the 30-yard line, and that is Riles having a pretty solid night. I was curious coming into this game, we, I talked with Glenn Johnson in the Fleets Equipment pregame show about who might step up and step in for the absence of Tyler Curtis, who graduated a year ago, and it's looking like I have my answer to that question so far, and that answer is Austin Riles, a 5'9", 180-pound senior, who moved the chains once again for the Raiders. So here we go, first and 10 on the 30 after a 10-yard gain, 950 and counting. A shotgun set with two receivers on either side. Cater takes the shotgun snap. They're gonna hand it off up the middle again. And I don't know how he got forward on that one. Riles came through the hole backwards. Looks like he got caught up right at the line or just crossing the line, spun around and actually fell backwards for a couple of yards. One thing I am, am very, very impressed about is the run game and Riles. He is turning and turning and turning. So here's Cater dropping back, fakes the handoff, and he evades a tackle. I don't know how he got away, and he's going to turn it out of the other side, go down the far side, and he's going to get to midfield and maybe a couple more. Cater staying alive in the backfield, and I don't know how he did that time. It looked like he was dead to rights. Roosevelt Rough Riders swarming in the backfield. Cater shakes it off a little shake move off the shoulder and went to the far side and picked up a big chunk that time. A 26-yard gain for Dylan Cater, and that brings him over 100 yards for the game. He's up to 123 on seven carries with two touchdowns. That is a video game stat line for Mr. Dylan Cater. 9.05 still to go in our third quarter with a 21-0 lead for the North County Raiders. A short break in the action. And while we have a break, we want you to know that our game tonight is brought to you by Get It While It's Here in Bon Terre, Walmart Supercenter in Deloge, and North St. Francis County R1 School District, who is hosting us tonight. And what is shaping up to be a good night if you are a North County Raider. A 21-0 lead. The run game has been phenomenal through the first half. The defense may be even just a touch better and the run game continuing to do well after a big 26-yard pickup by Dylan Cater. Now seven carries, 123 yards, two touchdowns, but still looking for his first completion. And to be honest, he should be four of five right now. His receivers have dropped a couple of passes. Only really one was an errant throw. But nonetheless, a three-score lead with 9.05 to go. And this ball is being moved all the way down inside Roosevelt territory at the 20. 
That was a another mental mistake on that far sideline as Cater stepped out of bounds. I didn't see the flag go in. I think they threw it on the sideline, so yellow on yellow. It was a little bit of camouflage, but a couple of late hits over there, and we're all the way down to the 20 for the North County Raiders. Mental mistakes are just eating the Roosevelt Rough Riders alive right now. So the offense back down to the 20-yard line in Roosevelt territory, working left to right with a three-score lead. North County scored on three of their last four drives and knocking on the door once again. Twins left, twins right. One offset in the backfield. Cater in shotgun, awaits the snap. He has the snap. They fake left. Come to the near side. Can he turn the corner? They sure can. And he's going to waltz into the end zone. A big time run. Another touchdown run by Dylan Cater. A little bit of misdirection to the left side. Cater comes to the near side, turns the corner, and gets into pay dirt. Another 20 yard touchdown run by Dylan Cater. His third touchdown run of the night makes it 27 0. North County all over the Rough Riders with 8.54 to go. And Cruz headed out with a special teams unit to try to make it a 28-0 game. This run game is looking fantastic for the North County Raiders. I was curious coming into this game with year two of the spread that Dave Dallas implemented a year ago. How would they use that? Would they be back throwing? Would they sling it all over the field? That hasn't really been the case because the run game is carrying the load tonight. So here we go for the fourth extra point of the night for Cruz. He's three for three so far. Here's the snap, the hold. It's clean. The kick is up. It's through. And, it's good. and he put some leg into that one. He shot that one nearly to the track. So 8.54 to go. And now another point on the board now. 28 to 0 with the Raiders all over the Roosevelt Rough Riders. 8.54 to go in the third quarter. We're back in 30 seconds on J98 Web TV at MimoInfo.com. Everybody's going home. Make your backyard a paradise for your whole family. You can do it with a swimming pool. Hi, I'm Angie DeClue with Home Pools and Spas. We can make your vacation destination right outside your back door, above ground or in ground. You have a choice of selections. Install now for months of great time and savings too with our special spring pricing. Everybody's going home is where the fun Everybody's is. going home pool and spa. To see pools and pricing, go to our website homepoolsandspas.net. Summer is just ahead. A long season to enjoy good times with family and friends. You'll make memories to last forever. Again, I'm Angie DeClue, owner of Home Pools and Spas, inviting you to stop by. We're on the Outer Service Road, just south of the Lettington exit. Home is where the fun is. Home is where the fun is. North County just kicking off there, and this is going to be a crazy return and way back. A huge loss that time. The Roosevelt Rough Riders in a precarious position once again to open another drive as Davion Davis fielded that one and turned around, tried to reverse field, and no room there for him. And this ball is now spotted on the 16 and a half yard line. So another Another, another drive for the Roosevelt Rough Riders who's going to start deep in their own territory. That is a tough go for the Roosevelt Rough Riders. The mental mistakes are adding up quickly. I expected Roosevelt to kind of wear down just because they only field 23 kids on their roster. 16 of which, however, are seniors. But North County returned 17 seniors, so they almost have enough seniors just to match up with the Roosevelt roster but it's been the mental mistakes that have been really the problem for the Rough Riders. So here we go, Clay has the offense out on the 16 in shotgun, offset left in the backfield, and three receivers to his right, and before the snap, a whistle is going to be blown, and that's another penalty against the Roosevelt Rough Riders. I imagine Coach Campbell is just losing his patience on that sideline. It's tough to say with all of the mistakes, really what kind of team the Rough Riders are. But at this point in time, they are struggling to keep themselves composed. So now first and 15 from the 12, and again, a whistle prior to the snap. 
it's almost like there's an echo in here. So another five-yard penalty against the Roosevelt Rough Riders with 8.45 to go in the third quarter and a four-score lead for North County. Roosevelt backing up even further. A drive that would have started on the 16, now back to the 6. So first and 20, a shotgun snap to Clay. He hands it off to Brown, who's going to try to get to the outside edge. Shaken and Bacon trying to get back to the original line of scrimmage, and he's not going to make it there. That looks like he's down on the far sideline. It does look like Brown is still on the ground over there. He sure is. It was Riles that brought him down on the far side. And I do believe that he is holding an ankle right now. So at 8.32 to go in the third quarter, a Roosevelt Rough Rider is down. And I do believe that it is William Brown, number 21, the running back, that is laying down on the field right now. While we have a player down on the field, we'll go ahead and step away for just a moment. And as soon as, soon as Brown, oh, he's already back up on his feet. So that's a good sign. He is not walking off under his own power. He's being helped off the field. But he's definitely back up on his feet, so that's a plus. So it doesn't look like the injury is too severe, but he is definitely, definitely walking off the field quite gingerly at this time. So hopefully we'll be able to see him step back into the game. But you have to wonder if you're the Rough Riders in the four-score game, 8.32 to go in the third quarter, do you risk bringing him back out? Or do you just let him set and nurse that injury? Because he is still down on the Roosevelt sideline. So hopefully everything's okay with Brown. An unfortunate set of events for one of your, really your focal point of your offense, Brown, the junior running back for the Roosevelt Rough Riders, going down after the end of that play. And it looked like it was a, a leg injury And he is still down on the Roosevelt sidelines. You hate to see that at, the, at any level, but at the high school level, that's definitely tough to see. The kid goes down like that. And he's an important part of your offense. And I'm, something like that just takes the wind out of your sails. So 8.32 to go in the third quarter. And when we come back out, Roosevelt will be without their running back. That's going to bring up an empty backfield with a four-receiver set. Three to the far side, one to the near side. Clay takes the shotgun snap, rolls to the far side, looking to throw quickly, and it's a little bubble, and they're going to complete the pass, pick up a few yards, but after all of the penalties, the back-to-back five-yard penalties, it looks like they're getting closer to the original first down marker. And the clock is going to continue to tick after that one. It looked like he stepped out, maybe not, as the clock's still running. Eight minutes to go in the third quarter. Brings up third down and seven. The ball at the 20-yard line. Again, empty backfield. Three on the far side, one on the near side. Clay awaits the shotgun snap. He's set. The snap, he bobbles the snap, picks it up, has a lot of time to get rid of it, fires over the middle, hits the receiver in the hands, not able to hang on to it. And again, pass intended for Davion Davis, falling incomplete. So now three of 11 on the night so far is Clay. He started off two of two. So one of nine after completing his first two passes. We are down to seven minutes, 40 seconds. Another penalty, but this time declined. So now, a fourth down is going to come up for Roosevelt, and they're going to have to kick deep in their own territory once again. And it's going to be Clay kicking from the five-yard line. Set to field to kick Adam McGraw, and he's standing just on the North County side of midfield. Now backing up to the 45. It's a high kick, or a high snap, a short pooch kick. Barely, barely crosses the 30-yard line. And it's going to be down at the 30. So fantastic field position again for the North County Raiders with 7.18 to go in the third quarter. North County is going to start a drive on the Roosevelt 30. So another drive is going to start with great field position 
for the North County Raiders. And the last drive was capped off by another Dylan Cater touchdown, his third rushing touchdown of the evening. Still looking for his first completion of the night, but seven carries, 123 yards and three touchdowns. I think you are in good shape. And not to mention number 21, Austin Riles, the senior running back for the Raiders, having a great night himself. 63 yards on 10 touches. Here's North County's offense set with two receivers on either side. Now motion from the slot to the far side, near side, and it's going to be a fake with Cater keeping it going up the middle. And North County trying to keep, get the fake and a little bit of misdirection. It just did not work out to their favors. North County not able to gain a yard with Roosevelt waiting for that one on the near side. So now three receivers or two receivers are going to spread out to the far side, two on the near side. Cater's going to line up in shotgun once again. He's got one man in the backfield with him. And he's going to line up in shotgun with 640 and counting. Here's the snap, the handoff up the middle, and the defense for the Roosevelt Rough Riders all over that one. And it looked like a little bit of miscommunication on the front line for the North County Raiders as soon as the play ended there. It was Justin Lubers that turned around and threw his hands up. By the body language, it looks like a little bit of miscommunication on the front line. Brings up third and seven. On the 28. Six minutes to go in the third quarter. Cater in shotgun with twins left, twins right. He's going to roll to the near side and slings one. First completion of the game. It's to McGraw who's going to dive down to the 10-yard line. So an 18-yard pickup for McGraw and the first completion of the evening for Dylan Cater. Now one of six for 18 yards. It brings us inside of six minutes and moves the ball down to the 11. So another red zone trip for North County. Anytime they've made it tonight, they've converted other than their opening drive. So here we go again, twins left, twins right. The snap and shotgun, uh-oh, broken play. Cater was wanting to hand that one off. But once again, just similar to what we saw earlier in the game, a little of, uh, miscommunication between the quarterback and the running back, Riles. Cater turned to the right. Riles went to the left. And there was just nobody home. And Cater, by the time he realized that the play was broken, Rough Riders were in the backfield and brought him down. And that will... Bring us to 5-15 in the third quarter with a 28-0 lead for the Raiders. Here's the shotgun snap. Cater rolls to the left. Uh, pressure again. He's going to reverse field. I don't know how he broke the tackle, but he's going to turn it something into nothing. Once again, he's going to get into the end zone. You've got to be kidding me, Dylan Cater. Another touchdown run. This time, 19 yards out. His fourth touchdown run of the evening just inside of five minutes, and now it's 34-0. North County over the Rough Riders. And it's going to be called back on a hold. What an unfortunate set of events. And it was an absolutely beautiful run by Dylan Cater. I don't know how he got out of the backfield, but when he did, he turned it upfield and got into the end zone. But it's going to be brought back after a holding. That is unfortunate. So take those points off the board. And we'll be back to 28-0. It was nearly a 34-0 game, but a holding call is going to erase all of that. Now we'll have a timeout by the North County Raiders. So 4.56 to go in the third, 28-0. North County leading the Roosevelt Rough Riders back in 30 seconds on J98 Web TV at MimoInfo.com. Did you know that you can save hundreds of dollars when you trade in your old wasteful water softener and upgrade to the Kelligan High Efficiency Water Softener with our one and dead or alive promotion? A Culligan High Efficiency Water Softener reduces hard water, which eliminates spots on glasses and fixtures and prevents corrosive buildup in your pipes and equipment, all while saving up to 46% on salt and water. Trade and upgrade today. Visit us, your local Culligan dealer in Lettington. Hey, Culligan man. Limited time offer. See dealer for details. 
Hello friends, this is Josh Vandegraaff with 3J Seamless Guttering and Siding. We're a locally owned business serving the St. Francis County and surrounding areas for over 20 years. Do you need a new roof on your home? Are you tired of waiting? Then give us a call at area code 573-330-0150. We can guarantee that your project will be done within three weeks of our first call. All estimates are free and we look forward to working with you. Check us out on Facebook at facebook.com slash 3J's Guttering. And we just come back with a shotgun snap, and Dylan Cater, as he tries to evade one defender, is going to be knocked down. And as he was knocked down, the pass skips off the turf. And Cater was slow getting up, and now he's jogging to the sidelines. 4.49 to go in the third quarter. And after that, Cater comes to the sidelines and has to take off the helmet. He looks like he's okay with the turnover on downs. Brings out the Roosevelt offense with a three receiver set on the far side. One on the near side. Clay takes the shotgun snap. He's going to backpedal. Throw it over the top of the defense. Just a couple yards across the line of scrimmage. A broken tackle. A little bit of space there. And a big time hit that time by the North County Raiders. And coming through with a slam is Matt Black with a crown collision of the game. That's Crown Collision Center at Crown Motors where customers bring their friends. Highway 67 north of Farmington. A big time hit that time by Matt Black. The 5'9", 160 five pound junior driving the receiver into the turf just a three yard pickup that time second and seven on the 41 and just over four minutes to go in the third again a three receiver set on the far side one on the near side clay takes a high shotgun snap rolls out and fires quick and again it's caught and he was down at the 40 on the reception so that looks like it's going to be a clean reception, but I don't think they're going to gain any yards out of it. The clock will continue to run. And they do mark it as just a short loss. So now third and a very long seven with the ball just shy of the Roosevelt 40. Rough Riders still looking to cross midfield with three and a half to go in the third quarter. So three receivers to the near side on this one. One on the far side, and Clay in shotgun once again. Here's the snap, looking to his right, and a whistle before the snap. And the theme of the night has been false starts. And that is going to be the call on this one with 3.26 to go. Roosevelt's going to back up five yards. So it looked like on this drive they had a chance to make their way into Raider territory, but that is not going to be the case. 3.26 to go, and a 28-0 lead for the North County Raiders. So again, three to the near side, one to the far side. Clay is lined up in shotgun, bounces one off the turf, a low snap, it skips. He picks up, fires quickly off the receiver's hands, and an incomplete pass. Well, that's going to stall out the drive but I saw a penalty marker we'll see what that's about it's a roughing the passer call wow that was a big 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 advantage right there for Roosevelt looked like they were going to have another drive stall out in their own territory but a roughing the passer penalty is going to bring the ball all the way up to midfield so just short of Raider territory for the first time tonight are the Roosevelt Rough Riders will have a fresh set of downs first and 10 just short of the 50 yard line 326 to go in the third quarter so a lot of time left if Roosevelt can make some leaps and bounds a few strikes they'll be right back in it first and foremost can they get into Raider territory for the first time tonight four receive five receiver set three on the far side two on the near side shotgun snap to clay he's going to turn around the outside and he will get across midfield but a flag comes down and I think it's going to be a face mask penalty against the Raiders we'll have to wait and see just by the way that clay was brought down it looked like somebody may have had a handful of helmet it didn't look like face mask but really more of a horse collar We'll see what the actual call is going to be. Wow. That penalty went against the Roosevelt Rough Riders. Another error 
on the Roosevelt side. And it was a hold was the initial call. And now after just knocking on the door of Raider territory, they're back to the 39. So mental errors costing Roosevelt again, a four receiver set. Three on the far side of the field, one on the near side and Clay lined up about six yards deep in shotgun. Takes a step in, he's set for the snap. It comes back to him cleanly, looking to the near side, finds his receiver, it's caught. Just across the 45 and a big hit that time. And a, they say the North County Raiders believe the football came out and they recovered it. What's the official signal? And they are going to say that it was a forced fumble on that reception. And Roosevelt's turnover on the 45-yard line will bring out the North County offense with 3.09 to go. And Eli Turnbow coming up with the loose football. And another big-time play by this North County Raider defense. The second turnover of the night and potentially could have had more if they were just held on to a couple of errant passes in the first half. So North County has great starting field position. Once again, they're going to start in Roosevelt territory on the 45-yard line. It's first and 10. Two receivers spread out to the far side. Two come to the near side. And here comes the shotgun snap. Cater back in after going down on the previous drive. And he's going to be brought down in the backfield again. A big loss that time. Looks like a nine-yard loss for Cater. That brings us inside of three minutes to go in the third quarter. Still a lot of football left in this one. 15 minutes of game clock still to run. That was a big play for Roosevelt as that drive started in Rough Rider territory for the Raiders. Now they're back in their own territory on the 47. Two receivers come to the near side. One on the far side and a back offset of Cater in the right. And the handoff will go to Riles, and he was met in the backfield, shakes the tackle, bakes and shakes his way through, and bounces off a couple of defenders and gets back up to midfield. And it looks like forward progress is going to be stopped at the 49 on the Rough Rider side. So another time where Riles gets caught in the backfield, breaks the tackle, gets away, and turns it into positive yards. Still a long way to go. North County has to get down to the 35 for a first down, lined up right now on the 49. Play clock is at 16. Game clock, 150. Twins to the near side, single receiver on the far side, a shotgun set once again for Dylan Cater. He takes the snap, and he's going to keep it himself if, after faking the handoff and blowing through the safety, but going to be well short of the first down. He ran over the top of Lamont Green, but Green able to hang on and bring him down. And that will bring up fourth and 14 with 90 seconds to go in the third quarter and a four-score lead for the North County Raiders. So in this spot on the field, a few different times tonight, Coach Tucker's decided to go for it, and the offense is out there right now. Three receivers to the near side, one to the far side. Cater in shotgun, and I believe that's Riles offset right. Here's the low snap. Cater in trouble, has to come to the near side, has to get rid of it, throws it away, and was looking for his receiver at the 20-yard line and is not able to find him. It was Tyler Johnston. And just not enough on that one as Cater had to run from the pressure. He had to evade the pressure coming to the near side, threw it downfield, just didn't get enough on it to get it down to his receiver. And for Roosevelt, this is really one of the better starting spots you've had all night. 43-yard line, their own 43-yard line. They'll come out with a first and 10. So North County... The defense has spent nearly three quarters keeping Roosevelt on their own side of the field. But seven yards away from North County territory are the Roosevelt Rough Riders. They send three receivers to the right, one to the left. Clay lines up in shotgun, empty backfield. Here's the shotgun snap, looking to the near, the far side. A little bit of a screen set up, and all over that screen are the North County Raiders. That bubble was bursted very quickly by the North County defense. They've been all over Roosevelt so far tonight. The clock is going to continue to run and be stopped at 41.0. A timeout going to be called 
with under a minute to go in the third quarter, and it is 28-0 with the North County Raiders all over the Roosevelt Rough Riders. And our game tonight brought to you by McNail Towing and Recovery in Bonterre, Kernan Auto Body of Bonterre, North St. Francis County R1 School District, Get It While It's Here in Bonterre, and Walmart Supercenter in Deloge. A four-score contest with North County looking to keep Roosevelt in their own side of the field. They've done so all night long. Can they hold on to that? After that first play, it will be second and 15 for Roosevelt. That screen to the far side went to Davion Davis, and he didn't get anywhere upfield. He got somewhere. It was just backwards. Now second and 15. The ball on the 38. Roosevelt's going to line up in an empty backfield. The reason they're doing that is William Brown went down midway through the third quarter with an ankle injury. So now three receivers set on the far side, one on the near side. Clay takes a shotgun snap at the 30, steps back. He's looking to go deep, and he has a receiver with a step. Can he make the catch? No, he can't, and they are going to call pass interference on that one, I sure do believe. But which way will it go? That's the question. So with 33 seconds to go, Roosevelt might have gotten a lucky break right there trying to go downfield. Over the top, Clay can definitely throw the long ball as he showed right there. And it's looking like Roosevelt's going to back up after that one. Interesting. No, now they're just going to walk off to the original line of scrimmage and walk off the yardage. So now Roosevelt, for the first time tonight, will be in North County Raider territory, and it's all because of a pass interference penalty. So Roosevelt makes it into North County territory for the first time tonight because of North County. Interesting. 33 seconds remain in our third quarter, and it's 28 to 0. Roosevelt spreads them out again with three on the near side, two on the far side. Clay lines up in shotgun, and a whistle comes in prior to the snap. And it does look like if you've been following us tonight, you know what I'm going to say, and that's... A false start on the Roosevelt Rough Riders. And now, after having a penalty, a pass interference penalty, bring Roosevelt into North County territory, they do not get to run a play on the North County side of the field as it's a, actually going to be a holding call. And now the Roosevelt Rough Riders backed up to the 48 on their side. So three receivers spread to the near side, two on the far side. Clay lined up in shotgun about six yards deep. He takes the shotgun snap. He's looking to go over the top. The pass complete, and they are back across the 50. And brought down just across what I thought looked like a first down. Yes, definitely where the official's at is a yard beyond the first down marker. And it looks like the clock is going to run out before we can get a snap in, or Roosevelt's going to try. Five, four. Three, two, have to get the snap off now. One, and they are not going to get that snap off. And that will bring us to the end of the third quarter with the North County Raiders leading 28-0 over the Roosevelt Rough Riders. Roosevelt just making it into Raider territory for the first time tonight. They've got a lot of work to do if they want to win this one or even get back into it. We'll find out coming up soon. It's J98 Web TV on MimoInfo.com. The faculty and staff at the North St. Francis County School District are proud of their students and their athletes. It takes hard work, dedication, and commitment to be a good, successful student and an athlete. Each student and athlete will have different goals and even different ways and timing of achieving those goals. So be yourself and excel all the way to the very top. Good luck on a great year and a great season from the faculty and staff at the North St. Francis County School District. They say, go Raiders. 12 minutes away from finding out if Roosevelt can get back into this. With a 28-0 lead, the North County Raiders are poised to start the season 1-0. And the way things have shaped up so far, I think you might be able to write that down in pencil. But just wait to break out that ink pen. For the first time in this contest, at the end of the third quarter, Roosevelt broke their way in to North County territory for the very first time. Now the team's coming out onto the field. 
Looks like we're going to have a little bit of a delayed start to our fourth quarter. As they are still tending to Brown on the opposite sideline. And I think the uh, Roosevelt staff is asking North County for a little bit of assistance. And with the absence of William Brown, who was injured midway through the third quarter, it's been an empty backfield for the Rough Riders ever since. That's the same with a five receiver set, two on the near side, three on the far side. Shotgun snap, Clay looking to throw, has his receiver coming through the middle, went off his hands, and it went off of the receiver's hands up in the air. That was DeMarco Young, the intended receiver, not able to reel that one in. Bounced off his hands and caught on, or bounced off of his hands and nearly caught by the North County secondary, just a few steps too short. And that'll bring up third down and eight yards to go. 11.55 remains in the fourth and final quarter. A shotgun set again, five receivers spread out. Here's the throw to the far side. And trying to find a small window was Mark Clay that time to the far side and not able to complete the pass. Looking again for Davion Davis. And that brings up fourth down and nine. So far this evening in North County's offense has been in this situation. They've, they've gone for it at midfield with fourth down situations. And it looks like the Roosevelt Rough Riders are going to take that same approach here. Clay is staying out on the field, but he doubles as the punter and kicker as well. I don't think this is going to be too much trickery. Clay lines up deep in shotgun with five receivers spread out. Here's the snap. He's looking to get rid of it. He knows where the marker is, and he's going to turn and run, and I don't think he's going to get back to it. A big hit that time. And stopped at the 40-yard line. He's going to be about four yards short of the first down, so that'll bring out the North County offense once again. North County on their last drive, it looked like they were going to make it a 35-0 game, but a holding penalty erased what would have been Dylan Cater's fourth touchdown of the night. That did not happen after the holding penalty. But the offense for the Raiders is back out on the field with a 28-0 lead on opening night. On the 40, first and 10. Three receivers to the right, one to the left, one in the backfield. Cater lines up a few yards deep for a shotgun snap. He is set, takes the snap. They're going to hand it off up the middle and... Brought down just a couple yards across the line of scrimmage will be Riles. Riles has had a pretty solid night so far. Has not had a carry go for a loss. So a great night for him so far. Second and seven on the 43-yard line, on their own 43-yard line with just over 11 minutes to go. Looks like trips to the right. Single receiver on the near side. Shotgun snaps. It's going to be handed off the middle. Riles going up the middle in between the tackles. Once again, about a yard shy of the first down marker. So another solid run by Riles, but just short of moving the chains. And they spot it two yards short, so another five yards on the stat sheet for Riles. Ball is officially spotted on the North County 48. That brings us to third down and two. Uh, looks like uh, North County Raiders got to tie his shoe prior to getting things back underway. And what's been a very, very well-played game for the Raiders so far in week one. Well, here we go. The offense is out. Trips to the right. Single receiver to the near side. Cater in shotgun. Riles in the backfield. The snap, the handoff, up the middle. Riles will get the first down and a few more. And they're just going to keep pushing the pile. It's finally blown dead on the 49 on the Roosevelt side. So a three-yard gain by Riles will move the chains. So good showing for Riles, and it's going to continue. He's quietly putting together a good night with his 13th carry on that play. He is now up to 74 yards on the night. 10 minutes, 20 seconds to go, and the clock continues to run. First and 10 on the Rough Rider 48-yard line as the North County Raiders are looking to extend their 28-0 lead. 
Cater will be in shotgun again. A four receiver set, three on the far side. They fake the handoff up the middle to Riles. Cater breaks away from one tackler, gets a few yards, evades the one tackler at a handful of jersey and gets down to the 35 yard line. So add 13 to Dylan Cater's total. He's up to 136 on eight touches for three touchdowns. Could have had four touchdowns, one erased by a hold. So here we go, same formation, trips to the right, single receiver on the near side. Cater in shotgun, looks to hand off to Riles. He takes it up the middle, he's got a lot of daylight. Here he goes, is he gonna get into the end zone? He's got the room to get there, can he fight his way in? And Riles gets into the end zone from 36 yards away. Nine minutes and 30 seconds left in this one, and six more on the board, courtesy of Riles, and a 34 to zero lead for the North County Raiders. Can they make it 35? We'll find out. Cruz has not missed an extra point tonight. A field goal was missed early in this game, but no extra points have been missed. So with nine and a half minutes to go, it's 34 to zero. Nearly worse than that, a few uh, errors, a few touchdowns that could have been, but now we can find out what will be. Here's the kick, it is up and it is through. It's 35 to zero. North County extends that lead with a 36 yard run by Austin Riles. So add a touchdown to his total and add 36 yards. So he's up to 110 now on 14 carries. So two 100 yard rushers for the North County Raiders. And now a 35 to zero lead on opening night for the North County Raiders. This is definitely a complete turnaround from what this game looked like a year ago with North County falling behind in the third quarter last year. This year they are absolutely dominant. A 35-0 lead, nine and a half minutes to go. And set to kick off to Roosevelt once again. So all of the touchdowns tonight are courtesy of the run game. That is five rushing touchdowns. And now set to kick off from the right to the left are the North County Raiders. Here comes the kick. And it's a low line drive. Hits off one of the up men. And he's gonna get a few yards before he's met by a whole gang of North County Raiders. They'll bring him down at the 37 on the Rough Riders side. The Rough Riders have played a lot of football in their own territory tonight with nine minutes and 16 seconds to go. And a 35 to zero lead, we're gonna see this clock run. The defense has been fantastic so far tonight for North County. They have had one play one play on their own territory by the Rough Riders. That one play ended up backing them up into their own territory. So they've had a, a few situations that have cost them severely. So eight minutes, 35 seconds remain in this contest, and it's 35 to zero, North County. Davion Davis in motion from the far side. He's gonna go around, try to turn the corner. He's gonna turn it upfield and be brought down at about the 41 yard line. So a three yard gain for Roosevelt. So we are now all across regional radio and we'll update you 35 to zero, North County has controlled every facet of this contest tonight. Eight minutes to go and a 35 to zero lead. And Roosevelt has ran about 98% of their offense in their own territory. And they are lined up on their 42 with a second and six. Roosevelt, for the, those just joining us, are without their running back, William Brown, left with injury in the third quarter. So it's been empty backfield the rest of the way. Mark Clay takes the shotgun snap, looks to the near side, has an open receiver and can't reel it in. Seen a lot of drop passes in this game tonight. And there's another one at a time where Roosevelt just did not need it. So 7.33 and we'll just keep ticking unless Roosevelt can find a way to get into the end zone. And I must say for 
what I expected coming in. This game has not been at all what I thought I was going to see tonight. I thought I was going to see a very, very active passing game for North County. They have scored every touchdown on the ground and just one completion tonight. So here we go. Roosevelt with a five receiver set. Don't have a running back. Davion Davis goes in motion again. He stops on the far side. And Clay takes the shotgun snap, looking to throw it over the top. Oh, and nearly intercepted at the 38-yard line. Two North County Raiders collide, and that was almost an interception. It would have been the third takeaway of the evening, but another football dropped. This time it was by a defender. So 640, and we'll just keep ticking, and that's going to bring up fourth down. Fourth and six for Roosevelt on their own 42-yard line. And they don't look like they're sending out special teams. They're sending out a five-receiver set with trips right, twins left, and Clay lined up on the 35. Here's the shotgun snap. Looks to the far side of the field. He's going to throw it over the middle, and he's got some room for his receiver on that far side. He's trying to come back inside. I believe it's Davion Davis who just pulled that one in, and the football popped out to the... North County Raiders are all pointing their way, what are the officials going to say? No signal just yet. And there's a flag down at about the 44-yard line. The way that play worked out, you might guess that it was a hold as Davion Davis had a lot of room to cut that back up. It's actually going to be a face mask against North County. So a big break that time for the Roosevelt Rough Riders. Roosevelt has had almost 10 just illegal procedure penalties against them tonight. So they catch a break there on what would have been a turnover. And now taking a little bit of time to get the two teams set back out on the field. And this game tonight with five minutes and 12 seconds to go in the fourth quarter has been all North County. A year ago, this was the same matchup, and Roosevelt left in 2014, 1-0, and it looks like this year it's going to be the North County Raiders with five minutes to go, and the clock will just continue to run with a 35-0 lead. Now the official is going to walk off that penalty. Right now the ball sets on the 40-yard line with Roosevelt working left to right, and a lot of time coming off the clock. But one thing that I uh, have mentioned all game and even in the pregame show tonight is I thought if this game turned out to be a war of attrition that Roosevelt was going to have a tough time staying into it. Roosevelt's roster is 23 players deep. North County has 17 seniors on their roster. So nearly just as many seniors as there are players for the Rough Riders. So here the offense is back out. We go twins to the left, trips to the right. Clay is in shotgun, awaiting the snap. Here comes the snap. It's high. He's looking to the near side of the field. He's got the pressure. He's got to escape to the far side. And a block set up for him. He's going to turn it up and get down and tiptoe just short of the 30-yard line. The official says he stepped out prior to that at the 34. So down to the 34. And this is the deepest that Roosevelt has been in North County territory all night long. Our score is 35-0. It very well could have been 42-0, but a holding penalty erased a phenomenal run by Dylan Cater earlier in the night. Cater has accounted for three rushing touchdowns, and it was a 20-yard, a 19-yard, and a 21-yard rushing touchdown. But just one completion. Roosevelt's offense set up again, and... The flag comes out prior to the play, and that is going to almost certainly be a false start against the Roosevelt Rough Riders. And that is exactly the case. They're going to walk that one back to the 39-yard line. We have just over three minutes to go before we can say that the North County Raiders are going to start the season 1-0. to zero. It would take an extreme set of events for that not to be the case. So this drive will start from the third, or this next play will start from the 39. It's going to be a second and nine when play resumes, but we will stop play with a Roosevelt timeout. We are at 2.44 to go in the fourth quarter, 35-0. to zero. North County leads Roosevelt. We'll be back in 30 seconds across regional radio.
Hello friends, this is Josh Vandegraaff with 3J Seamless Guttering and Siding. We're a locally owned business serving the St. Francis County and surrounding areas for over 20 years. Do you need a new roof on your home? Are you tired of waiting? Then give us a call at area code 573-330-0150. We can guarantee that your project will be done within three weeks of our first call. All estimates are free and we look forward to working with you. Check us out on Facebook at facebook.com slash 3J's Guttering. We bring you back with 2.44 to go in the fourth quarter. It's 35-0. to zero. North County all over Roosevelt in this one. And really, it's been the defense that's been impressive for the North County Raiders. I know with the second year of the offensive system in place by Dave Dallas, I expected the ball to be all over the field through the air. That has not really been the case tonight. A lot of drop passes early in this game, and they've kind of avoided the passing game for the second half. And we uh, thank everybody for joining us across KTJJ Farmington, KREI Farmington, and KJFF Festus. Don't forget you can watch us on web TV at MimoInfo.com. Here is the shotgun snap with a five receiver set. Clay looking to throw over the top of the defense and off of the receiver's hands. And it was a tip drill. And I don't think anybody came up with it. The intended pass, about a 45-yard pass through the air. Intended for Marquise Quinn, went off of his hands up in the air, turned into a tip drill. North County almost came down with it, just unable to reel that one in. There's been at least three different occasions tonight where I thought North County was going to have a takeaway or an interception, and that just did not happen. They've come up with a couple of different takeaways. That one earlier in the contest, right before halftime, resulted in a score. With 2.14 to go, clock stopped for just a moment. Now they're going to wind it, and Roosevelt is going to put the offense with a five-receiver set. They do not have a running back tonight. Three receivers on the near side, two on the far side. Clay lined up deep in shotgun on this one. It looked like a false start up front from the right tackle for Roosevelt. Now just a little bit of movement pulled the defender across, and that's going to be another false start penalty against the Roosevelt Rough Riders. That makes 11 false starts so far tonight. In this game last year, there were so many penalties on both sides of the football. This year, there's been quite a few penalties, but they've all really gone against Roosevelt. Just a handful of penalties against North County tonight. They look much improved from a year ago. Again, that five receiver set out for the Roosevelt Rough Riders. Trips to the right, twins left. Clay, eight yards deep in shotgun, takes a low snap. Looks to his left, he's going to throw, and well short of his intended receiver, Davion Davis. That's been the primary target so far tonight for Roosevelt, and he has just one reception. And early in this game, it looked like Mark Clay was going to have a decent passing night. He started off two for two, and at this point in the game, he is four of 13 and we have one minute to go. We are inside of one minute. The clock will continue to run. And it looks like the North County Raiders are going to start this season off with a big time win over the Roosevelt Rough Riders. Again, that five receiver set trips right, twins left. Clay takes a shotgun snap, looks downfield, throws over the middle. It's off the hand. Another tip drill. And there's that interception we've been waiting for all night, B's and G's. And you can put the, uh, oh man, the flag comes out right at the end of this one. I don't know if it's going to take that away. But there have been several opportunities for the secondary of the North County Raiders to come up big and take the football away. Hey, don't get so lucky tonight as a flag comes out. And right now the officials are standing on the original line of scrimmage. But I think this is all just a formality. The clock continuing to run, 14 seconds up. And all I want to know is can I put an interception on the defensive side of these stat sheets? Speaking of stat sheets, our stats are brought to you tonight by ProCare Automotive Repair in Bonterre. That's fast, friendly, and professional service. Repaired once and repaired right. So now, with 2.6 seconds on the clock, the officials decide to go ahead and stop the clock. So 2.6 seconds is all we have left. And now the officials are coming to the near side of the field talking to Coach Jimmy Tucker, who's filling in for Dave Dallas this evening. And I'd say, Coach Tucker, for your interim gig, you did pretty nice for week one. 35 to zero with 2.6 seconds left on the clock. And it's gonna be interesting to see if anything even happens for these next two point seconds. I think it's very unlikely that we'll see anything. They do 
erase that interception as that penalty went against the North County Raiders. So been waiting all night for that interception. There's been three or four dropped. The one time it's reeled in, it's erased. So this game is at 35 to zero and the next play is going to bring this to an end. And the ball is currently spotted on the 28 in North County territory. And they're having some technical difficulties with what is a beautiful scoreboard, I must say, for the North County Raider High School. It's LED, bright blue, fantastic scoreboard. But unfortunately, they're having some technical difficulties. So we're just going to hold up and let you know that our web TV game this evening is sponsored by Get It While It's Here in Bon Terre, Walmart Supercenter in Deloge, McNeil Towing and Recovery in Bon Terre, Kernan Auto Body of Bon Terre, and North St. Francis County High School. So now here comes the final snap of the game, and it goes over the top of Clay's head, and that is just a microcosm of what has been this football game for the Roosevelt Rough Riders. And there is a big-time hit to end the game, a big lick, our crown collision of the game. Finally comes through. That's the Crown Collision Center at Crown Motors, where customers bring their friends. Highway 67, North of Farmington. So now with the technical difficulties taken care of in 2.3 seconds, the final buzzer has yet to go off. We'll see what the official says. So the, the 2.6 seconds prior to that was incorrect. So now after that play, what was believed to have 2.0 seconds left was not the case. And that was the te technical difficulty they were trying to work out. So now it looks like there's going to be another snap before this game ends. This game has been interesting to say the least. Penalty ridden through the entire game for the Roosevelt Rough Riders. There have been touchdowns erased, takeaways erased, but when it's all said and done, it's going to be a big time win for the North County Raiders. And don't forget, as we are the final game going around the listening area, coming up next, we will have the renowned post-game show, the end zone show. And this year it's brought to you by Presbyterian Manor of Farmington. So that's what's going to come up as soon as we close out this game from North County High School as Roosevelt's going to come back out with just a few seconds. So it should just be one more play. Now that they've finally got everything ironed out with the scoreboard. Oops. Again, an empty backfield. Clay lined up at the 45. Line of scrimmage, the 39. Here's the snap. He's going to throw it over the top of the defense and not enough on it. It's going to be knocked away. And that is an incomplete pass knocked away by the North County defense. And that will finally bring an end to this game. North County Raiders open the season 1-0 or 1-0 with a 35-0 win over the Roosevelt Rough Riders. Revenge is sweet and North County gets it this year after losing in week one to Roosevelt. They come out this year and blank them 35-0.